almost lost you for a you minute. You did. I almost left. And <laughs> I could not make chicken and waffles oh, without yeah. you. You could have figured it out. I could have figured Welcome back. Time for Sunday Brunch. And joining us again this morning is Chef Kyle a Algaze from the Iron Rooster in Annapolis. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us now, again. Now, I'm surprised, actually, that you can be here today because of what happens at your restaurant on the weekends. It's very busy. and They're probably watching right now, so we, we, we wave to them and say good morning. Um, but, yeah, they, they line up early, often. Uh, we had a Navy football game yesterday, so we had a lot of people in town. Navy won, by the way, so that was that, that was, was awesome. That was good. That was good. And chicken and waffles, which smells delicious, but... There's no way you can serve as many orders of this as you as you allege. Well, we serve a lot. It's our most popular dish by far. People have really they line up for it. They come and get it to go. They yeah, it's just a it's brag a really about neat. the numbers. Brag. Uh, well, it's hundreds. We we see thousands of people on the weekend, and hundreds of people order chicken and waffles for sure. Um, and it goes throughout. So we start 7 a.m. and you know by 10 o'clock at night, you know we're still serving chicken and waffles, and they're still coming to grab them. So it's, it's really incredible. Really All right, so tell me what we need to do. Okay, so I've. I already put um, some chicken cutlets uh, that we cut fresh. Okay. Uh, chicken breast, slice them in half, um, usually around four or five ounces, and then uh, marinated in buttermilk for uh, a couple of hours, and mm -hmm. then we're going to put them into some seasoning flour that we that we make in the restaurant. Should I go ahead? You can go ahead. I'm okay. going to be over here plating while you're. While so you're what's doing in that. the seasoning? Uh, well, that's part of the secret? part of the secret. There's uh, there's a couple things that we uh, we don't give away. One of them is the gravy, and the other one is the. Uh, is the is the seasoning flour that we use? All right, well, just give me a little bit of information. There's some cayenne pepper, salt yeah. and pepper. Um, there's flour. Yeah. And that's it. Really, <laughs> really. So how many people know? Uh, there's a few of us. Really? Uh, you have to sign a whole. No, I'm just. Kidding. No, you yeah, don't. You know. All right, so I do this. This yep. seems pretty easy. So, and you know, once you you can let it sit, um, you know, let the flour and the and the buttermilk kind of all attach to the chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, while you've been doing that, I've had a waffle that's been already been cooking, so we're ready to go. And I've already fried up some chicken as well. There's two kinds of ways that people. Sorry, it just looks really gross right now. It is, but you just <laughs> take them off and throw them okay. in that, in right. that bowl. Okay. You'll be good to go. All right. um, there's two ways that people usually do uh, chicken and waffles. Yes. Um, one way is with syrup, hot sauce and, and syrup. People kind of like that way. Uh, we do it with gravy, which is a little bit uh, original on our end. So you go savory. We do go savory. So you okay. kind of get the, the sweetness and, and the savoriness of, of it all. I've got a waffle maker and just waffled up mm. there. We got fried chicken already in the deep fryer, ready to go. So I kind of think it seems sort of easy. It's easy. But it's a lot of cleanup, as you can see, just yeah, going yeah. through this process uh, alone. So that's why we're here, okay. is to, to make it at the restaurant so you don't have to worry about the cleanup aspect. Well, we of like it. that idea. Yeah, now, absolutely. Uh, this is coming to Baltimore. You're not just in Annapolis starting this month. You're coming to Baltimore. Yeah, in the middle of November, uh, we hope to open up in, in Canton Crossing, which is... Um, you know, a great neighborhood, and it's up and coming. I think that you know we're going to see a lot of people coming in from all over the city. We're we're excited. We, we we invite everyone to come down, but we're really excited to be part of the community. We're we're a community and focused restaurant for sure. So to kind of add to the community of Canton is really exciting for us. You guys have done very well. Now we also have to bring up. Now these have been eyed for several hours here. These yes. are your famous pop tarts. I know there's 20 people back here waiting. Oh, there. there's a yeah. whole line yeah, here. Yeah. Miri has got her sneakers on so she's she can run over, over here. here yep. All right, so why? What is so magical about them? You know, I think what it does, it brings people back a little bit to yeah. their childhood. I think that people get excited when you can kind of recognize food that you've had when you were younger, or mm. even you know, the adults nowadays still still eat pop tarts, but it's homemade, and I think that that really gives people that feeling of you know, it's not just a packaged you know good. It's something that we've made. We put our hard work and effort into it, and I think it kind of transpires for people that want to buy it. Well, they're wonderful and delicious. All right, so we want to let people know that if you'd like a copy of today's recipe, log on to our website, WBALTV.com, and click on food, or you can send us a self addressed stamp envelope to Sunday Brunch, WBALTV, 3800 Hooper Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland, 21211, and remind people where your restaurant is in Annapolis. So we are at a 12 Market Space in uh, downtown Annapolis, right across the street from the water. Um, and we're right on the corner. Can't miss us. Right, you're not going to be sleeping with these two restaurants. No, the sleep is out of the question at this point. Yeah. But that's okay. For we're most built, of us. We're built for it. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you, Ken and Stan.